I get tired of doing the same thing over and over. I don't know about you. This is Dana Stewart Coates and Killer Queen Antique Jewelry. Thought I'd do a live Friday preview since I missed you all yesterday. Now, if you can behave, we'll actually do the tray and the larger items. And behaving, I mean, give me a minute to say what things are and how much they are. And then the first person that I see who says want will get the item. Come on in and say hello. And let's get this preview started. And if you miss this, you can always watch it back. That's my idea. Uh, you know, where I could take the slick, glossy pictures and then spend hours telling you about things. Hi, Erica. Hi, Justine. It's just a lot easier for me to come to you live and show you what's going on. Well, like I said, if, if you can all behave, we'll do the tray first and then we'll get to some larger items. Now, clearly you can see I have the little trinket boxes. Not only are there trinket boxes, uh, I got some cool stuff. A photo frame. I think this one is from the 1930s. And it's all filigree and brass with, you know, gold over, clearly. This one is late Victorian, early Edwardian. You probably saw these in the 1980s. Yes, you have to behave. You have to allow me to say what the item is and give the price. And let me write your name down and put the price on a bag. Because otherwise, you know, the mods have to watch back and I have to watch back. So she was a movie star from apparently 1903. And someone loved her so much that they put her in a frame. Well, after I show you some things, I don't know if you can behave. Because there are a couple things that I know I wouldn't be able to behave on. Just saying. Also, I briefly showed her. She's in a leather-bound case. And she's Victorian and hand-painted. Well, hand, you know, how they hand-tint. I think she's lovely because she doesn't look dead like most of the Victorian photos. There's her. There are also one, two, three large silver torques. I have three bundles of chains. Don't get like distracted because I'll come to you next week and I just got this entire 202 gram bag of chains that I will split up and bring to you. So they're in three bundles tonight. <laughs> and then there's some really cool chains, like really like high end chains that I'm gonna offer separately. There are some silver rings on the tray, including um, cameos with Marcosite. And those are all Art Deco. Um, I showed the cloisonne the other day. There are some silver bracelets. Some bracelets that have sat, which I cannot believe this uranium has sat on the bracelet bar. But I have had some incredible bracelets come up recently. Um, this cool one from uh, Bradford Exchange, which is the heart of Fabergé. One of the charms does open. Um... Self-explanatory, there's some cameos. There are some, um, this is a Mozambique and Spessartine garnet ring, but it's on the tray. So if it's on the tray, you know it doesn't get sized. There's there's a nine karat gold locket on the tray. That, that's gonna go for 50. And it's, it's nine karat gold. So all of these little, um, 
sterling Vesta cases, which make fantastic, like, bougie things for your purse. You know, whip out your little silver case for your pills or whatever. Um, my glass people have been so upset because I haven't been showing glass. So, we're going to show some glass. Uh, how about some rare Bristol Blue glass with uranium? This incredibly cool herringbone necklace is, yep, you guessed it, uranium. This is also UV glass. Pink, baby blue, baby pink, and black. Art Deco. It lights up. Of course, we know these honkers, honker chunkers light up. Also, uranium. Uranium crystal. Cadmium and uranium. I have an incredible Art Deco set that has a bracelet and a necklace and earrings have been added later. But the back of that is all sterling. When I show it on the bust, you're gonna die. If you love purple, it's incredible. Um, I'm gonna scoot and bring up the uranium set that uh it's 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 expensive, but somebody might might go for it because if you want something incredible and rare, you know this is all check and uranium. We'll light that up too with the UV light. Uh, a couple other UV pieces that I'll bring to you. Uh, the Pagoda pieces that I brought before. But this one is the most rare. It is Rock Crystal Quartz. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, the Citrine that you all fought over in 935. I told you I'd find another one. Guess what? I did. Um, bracelets. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hi, Adelaide. How are you, honey? I'll be on later just doing a live preview. Well, my pearl girls, these all have sterling clasps. That one is absolutely positively vintage. Now there are a couple little doinks, but you know, the, the price will reflect it. They are absolutely gorgeous though. Then we have a double strand, nearly round, in with the sterling, a fabulous sterling clasp. How about angel skin coral? Angel skin coral and beautiful cultured pearls. Then I have not one, but two. Hi, Sharon. Two long strands of peacock pearls. Two flapper strands. Uh, this is a triple strand of culture pearls. You like the pearls, so I bought the pearls. These are gorgeous. They're cream and gray. Like I said, all sterling class. more angel skin coral 
and a large beautiful pearl in the center. Okay, here we come to like some really unique ones. This one's Artisan, two sterling hearts, gray pearls and cream pearls. Of course, with a big sterling clasp. Hey girls, oh, oh, thank you. Different, huh? I was with one of my friends from Cheltenham, Giselle, all morning and afternoon and she like picked my nails out. Okay, my Garner girls don't have a heart attack. I have garnet and pearls. I love this strand of pearls with the sterling bow. Oh my God. I love it. How classic, how classy. Um, these are on wire, but they have an extender. So, you know, that's going to hold that shape on your neck. And that's sterling. <laughs> yes. Yes. Put me on the big screen because there's just so much to see. Honestly, I'm not kidding you. So, let's do the rings, shall we? We're going to, I'm going to lay these things down and move things out of the way so I can just pop things on top of things. Things on things on things. Because we have that incredible Alexandrite. Both of the Alexandrite are, you can see they're very differently colored. Both of them are deco. And both of them have the teal color change during the day. You know, in daylight. Rock crystal quartz in nine karat gold. Huge citrine in nine karat gold. Huge blue topaz, nine karat gold. Georgian, amethyst, citrine, garnet and diamond, sapphire and diamond, garnets, emeralds and diamonds, all in gold. Uh, there's a George V coin from 1914 mounted in a ring. These rings are Wedgwood and they are Art Deco. Oh, let me. She's a Grecian goddess. She's also a Grecian goddess. These are Art Deco. Now they make. I have a pendant here. This one is from 1974, which is still absolutely beautiful and vintage. Now, this pendant is actually Victorian. And she's called the fairy. She's very, very desirable. She's on black Wedgwood Jasperware. So let me come back out. There is a giant, amazing garnet. It is fire. Now, these I would call my bougie sterling rings. Not your average sterling rings that are going to be on the tray. Um, this one, you know, I buy lots. So, there was a lot of, like, expensive sterling rings. This one is Sapphire and CZs, which I am not a big fan of CVs, but this is a Tova ring, Ernest Borgnine's wife, Tova. And these rings are very, very, very expensive. But, you know, not here. Um, white Zircon and beautiful purple, purple Amethyst. This one, I love, I love, I love, I love a black spinel and a white spinel. These are usually called tuxedo rings and I think it's just classy. Now this one, you all being American, you're going to know the name. This is to Corey and they are like predominantly engagement rings. 
and you can see it's signed to Corey on the inside. This is their um, CZ line, but this ring, when I saw it, I was like, oh my Jesus. To Corey rings are just, they're the epitome of gorgeousness. Hi, Anna. There is a cool antique snake ring in nine karat gold. Thank you, honey. There's another black um, opal. That is a doublet, but it's in nine karat gold. If you love, there are people who love petite rings. Then this beautiful ruby, this Art Deco ruby. I'm like too zoomed in there. The black opal, the Art Deco ruby, and then the Victorian tourmaline with seed pearls. So, oh, the top row. <laughs> Yeah, cultured pearl, natural black spinel. They look like black diamonds. It's beautiful, moi et toi setting, you know, bypass, back and forth. Um, this gorgeous cultured with white zircon, because I just said I'm not like the biggest fan of CZs. Um, this is, of course, angel skin coral. It's a Victorian angel skin coral cameo. Uh, there's a beautiful cameo set in sterling and a beautiful cameo set in gold and sterling. So I think that pretty much covers it for the rings. Bracelets. I think I'm going to show you the most unique one first. Um, she's French. She's sterling. She's cast. She also has garnets. She's Art Nouveau. And I say she because there's not one, but there are four ma Art Nouveau maidens. Um, listen, I've been in jewelry for a very, very long time. I've never seen a high relief cameo bracelet like this. I took this to Bob, who was also a silversmith for 10 years before he became a gold jeweler. He's never seen one like it. Here she is. So you have four Art Nouveau maidens. She is cast. She also, yeah, the clasp goes in, you know, over there, hidden clasp. She's, she's a good length now, but she also, someone altered at one time. There's another panel. So you wouldn't have to put loops or anything else to make her bigger. She's incredible. She's, I literally, I do believe she's one of a kind. You can see it's high relief. Now I've seen lava cameos that are high relief. I've sold stone cameos that are high relief. I've never in my life seen a high relief bracelet like this. So, yeah. She, she's pretty, pretty special. Now I guess I'll just bring down a rack at a time, which might be dangerous, but we'll do that. Let me take this down. Now clearly, uh, it's going to be difficult to show you. I'm, I'm going to take them off and show you one at a time. That's going to be... Now, this one is rolled gold, and I've explained to you. Rolled gold is the closest that you're going to get to gold. It is actually gold over sterling. It's a fringe slide. It's Victorian. She's got... Green gold, pink gold, yellow gold, and seed pearls. Hello, AG. So she's a Victorian slide with fringe, and she's rolled gold. And that, that'll sit there. When it's on your wrist, that's not going to move. That just keeps that from, you know, 
from you be able so you can adjust it. See the Victorian slide bracelet. Of course, I know I've got my girls who love the bangles, the, the buckle bangles. And I've got a few new ones in. Stunning. No, there's no doings. And if there were doings, you know, it just goes to Bob. And Bob the Once Upon a Time Silversmith. Like, this one had doings. Guess what? Play fit. With the pink and the yellow and the green gold. Which I love when they apply the colors over. I think it's a very feminine, beautiful bracelet. Oh, then there's another buckle. Uh, Victorian aesthetic, you know, and this one's actually a little bit bigger. 1860 to, you know, 1900, these were made. But with the ivy leaf, um, 1880 is about. Um, the two other bangles, you know, if you're new, you haven't seen them, I will show you. And the whole bracelet wrap will be down you know when I show the bracelets now for the people that are after the Scottish agates the Victorian Scottish agates they're only able to get one in this week but it's a beauty And if you know what they are, you know they're they're rare. So I'll give you a quick look at the other bracelets that are on here. There's the carved horn with the sad little 1880s baby charm. There's a beautiful cameo bracelet. There's a you know woven hair with nine karat gold bracelet. That's a Victorian buckle, not a Victor uh, Art Deco bangle. I do have Art Deco bangles. Um, this is also a Victorian bangle. And these two chains, um, an Albertina and this link, all of those are Victorian. Okay. I am going to raffle... I'm going to give one away, and I'm also going to raffle the biggest charm bracelet. Now, I also have two more. Now, everybody's probably like, wow, okay, we know she loves charm bracelets, but why is she bringing charm bracelets? Part of me loving charm bracelets is my whole life, I've always thought if you own one, you, you kind of had a charmed life. Because people who have those big honking charm bracelets usually do have pretty charmed lives. So to me, it's kind of just like a symbol like, yeah, okay, I made it. I've, I've worked hard my whole life. I, I earned this. I should have a charmed life and a charmed bracelet. Let me pop these Victorians back on. You know, some of these are so small, they like don't want to fit on the bracelet rack because they're not modern. I'll struggle with them later. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and fight with them to put them on now. Now, that's not it. Because there are a couple more bracelets. Oh, this one isn't fastened, so I don't want to lose it. I didn't even get to show you guys this Art Deco one last week, which is absolutely beautiful. It's sterling silver. Look at, see, a charmed life. Absolutely. You, you've heard, seen Gilche and Machine Turn. Look at the machine turning on this. And that Art Deco green. Now, there is a doink inside of it, but it's inside of it. It's not outside of it. The outside's beautiful. And the enamel is perfect. Come on and focus, you bugger. 
There we go. That is beautiful, beyond beautiful. Now there's not one, oh, there's a coin bracelet. Yeah, mine are doink inside. There is a, a sterling coin bracelet and not one, but two, take the choice, sterling and peridot bracelets. There are ovals and there are cushion cut emeralds. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now this looks Victorian, but it's not because it's dated inside. The 29th of January, 1948. So we know definitively when this beautiful bracelet was made. And I have two Art Deco agate bracelets, which are not as expensive as the Victorian one, but they're still sterling agate and fantastic. And maybe you don't want the big chunky. Personally, I would probably gravitate more to the Art Deco ones myself. But everybody has their own taste. I think the Victorian ones are beautiful, but I would probably wear Hi Eve. There's also the gorgeous Art Deco cameo bracelet that I have added a tiny pretty little heart to. Hi, Christina. Uh, I'm trying to get through this live preview, guys. So I'm not, you know. And that's something tonight we need to do. We all need to say hello. We all need to chat. We all need to be friendly. But we, you know, I can't spend an hour, you know, just chatting before the sale. Oh, no. I hate a flat tire. Bugger. Bugger, that's my new word, bugger. <laughs> it's not a nice word here. It's we it means a different thing to Americans, but you know, when you say bugger here, it means a whole different thing. Hopefully some kindly soul stopped and helped you. Well, I've got to adjust the uh, clasp on both of those peridot bracelets. Okay, um, so tonight there's a lot to see. Oh my goodness. And of course we have the little tray with, oh, oh my lordy, oh my lordy, woo. That is Venus and Cupid. And it it is literally one of the most fine, beautifully carved, and I've got quite a few of them, cameos here. I, of course I can show you that amber ring, honey. There's no sun spangles in it, so you know that that's vintage. Oh, there's, you see some pearls? You gotta watch back, girl. There's, there's pearls for days. A three graces in gold. A Angel skin, uh, look at the yellow on my hand <laughs> for my orchids. Um, angel skin coral on, can you see the light going through it? Agate is a brooch or a pendant. Uh, Victorian Bacchus, nine karat gold. Uh, angel skin coral, nine karat gold. Uh, brooches, brooches, brooches. Um, beautiful Edwardian mother of pearl brooch. A beautiful Edwardian angel skin coral brooch. Flowers. Just um, butterfly wings. Um, moonstone. Oh my God, oh my Jesus. This needs to be, sorry, don't mean to take the Lord's name in vain, but my God, this needs to be a pendant. Hey, Jules, look at these opals. 
look at these opals. Oh my God. Opals and teeny tiny seed pearls. It is just the most beautiful, beautiful Victorian pen. Oh my God, I had to have it. Look at these opals. Oh my God. I just, I just, um, I took my breath. So, there's a whole, holy, holy, holy lot to see. She is, uh, oh my God, I just died. I just died when I saw her. She's, of course, Victorian. And I have cleaned her and oiled her. <laughs> yeah, it's Venus and Cupid. And I have to show you with the light going through her. Because she's, she's incredible. Absolutely incredible. So, if you've come in late, you're going to need to watch back. Because I showed a whole lot. Oh, <laughs> did you, Julie, did you see the, the maidens? French Sterling High Relief with Garnets. She's one of a kind. Absolutely, positively, Art Nouveau, never seen one like it. Doubt I ever will. Bob's never seen one. So, okay guys, you're going to need to watch it back. I've explained everything, I think. You know, other than, you know, the the little trinket boxes and things. I'll do that when we uh, have the sale. We will start with the tray first. Like I said, there are only three chain bundles, but I will have more this week because there's 200 grams of sterling. 202 grams. So I'll make a ton of chain lots up. You know, but there are three tonight and, and a couple bougie chains that are long or special length. So, like, I'm so pumped up with all this gorgeous stuff. I'm going to try and sleep. Oh, she's, of course, she's on the tray. Should she be? Not really. Because really, should this incredibly carved? She's set in sterling with marcasite. She's so fine, so gorgeous, so well carved. But three graces. But she's, she's there. I mean, I know I could auction her, but... We need to get through some things. Justine, I think you were after like plain sterling garnet earrings. I think that fits the bill. Just pretty little sterling hearts with garnets. And then there's a huge pair of um, Mexican sterling stars. What? Why are you crying, Julie? What are you crying about? Why is she crying? Now, this um, Bacchus Maiden, she'll be here because she has a little doink. So, yeah, where she's, she'd be worth 125 because she's set in sterling any day of the week. If she didn't have the doink, she has a little doink, so she'll be 50. Um, oh, don't forget all these incredible eggs. Oh, no. Oh no, oh Julie, oh no. <gasps> oh my God, that is sad. That is sad because there are some, I mean, just the pearls alone will knock your eyes out. I mean, come on. Oh my gosh, I forgot to show you. Like the largest dragon's breath I've ever seen. Like, show me one bigger. 
Um, no, you can't. No way. Uh, yeah, let's see. I think, I think that's about it. So it looks like massacre here with all of this out and I'm going to have to tidy it up and, you know, organize it a bit. Hi, Kimberly. Now I can take a breath and say, hello, everyone. <laughs> but I wanted to get through that and I knew that there was not going to be no way that I would be able to do all of that, record it, edit it, you know. Yeah, I'll, I will try. I certainly will try. And I also got, of course, I got beautiful flowers for tonight. Oh my gosh, they're just so, they're so big. They're so much. Are we, like, zoomed? Yeah, there we go. It was like, you should be able to see them. Red roses and lily and pine boughs and oh, it smells incredible here. So, where I was going to split this up and have two sales. I was actually going to have one today and then one on Sunday. If I have one and done. So Sunday, I'll bring you some content. I want to record me treating the, um, the Haskell. I want to record me treating the Haskell, and then we'll come back next week and see how it fared after I treat it. Because that one piece that I got in, and I treated the infection... I looked in the tray and the other pair that I got with it had vertigree on it. What? Why? What are you doing? Kimberly... Where, where did I send your package to, honey? I can't remember where everybody lives. Are you in Colorado? I know it snows there all the freaking time. Oh, Buffalo, New York. Yeah, you get a lot of snow, too. Yeah, I'm originally from Pittsburgh, sweetheart. I know where Buffalo is. <laughs> I know I don't sound like I'm from Pittsburgh, right? Well, I am. I haven't lived there first off for a very long time. I've lived in England, but well, I've been in England for the last ten years. But I've always traveled and always lived abroad somewhere. So, yeah, I'm sorry, Julie. I am so sorry. There's, but I, there, I mean, I didn't know. You didn't write me and say, I'm going to be away. Don't sell anything fabulous. Now, come on. You know I'm going to sell fabulous. But you also know I'll have fabulous next week, too. And your little... Your little girl, your the one you that pillbox you wanted. She's safe. She's yours. I put her with your things. Hi, Marlani. You hear me? I have an accent. I don't know. It's so funny when most British people hear me. They they ask if I'm Canadian. I'm like. Um, I, I, I don't hear any A's or, you know. <laughs> yeah. 1776? What do you say 1776? 
Oh, it's Marlene, 1776, okay. Yeah, that like effects note is awful. Oh, you. I was like, 1776, it's Marlene. All right, guys, I am going to try and if I don't sleep, at least chill out because I think we've got a good five or six hours ahead of us. There's there's a lot to see. Oh, no, mm -mm. I don't miss the snow. Uh -uh. Nope. People say, do you miss the states? Well, not where I grew up with the snow. Mm -mm. Nope. I don't ski anymore. I've got pins and rods in my ankles. Um, no AC in my left knee, so yeah. Not skiing. Uh, it used to be fun when I skied or, you know, sled riding was fun too, but how, how many days do you want to go out and freeze? If the weather hurts you, if the if the if it's too cold and it hurts your skin, mm, nah, I'm not here for it. I've I've like get over it. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not text and drive. Do not. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not here for it. I live on the coast and last year we saw a dusting and I was like, oh, go away. And by afternoon it was gone. Yes, yes. Watch back from the beginning because I showed so much. You don't want to miss anything. I love you all, and I will see you all at 4 p.m. We're not going on half hour early. We can chat while we sell. 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's midnight for me. So, I love you, and I'll see you, and I hope you have fun with this preview like I did. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for coming in, guys. Don't don't forget to hit that thumbs up and leave a comment on the video. That helps the channel grow because it gets seen more. Thank you.